listen to our stories. Hi, my name is Sada. I'm 17 years old. I'm Egyptian with Turkish blood. I was born and raised in Cairo, the capital of Egypt. I've lived in Egypt for 15 years and then I moved to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in June 2018. My name is Mina. I am 17 years old. I'm from Mansoura, the Kahliya in Egypt. I was born in Egypt and had my kindergarten education there. But then I moved to Saudi Arabia and lived most of my life there. I definitely spent every summer in Egypt, so I have an idea what living there uh, is like. And, and then I moved to Saskatoon in October 2019. I immigrated to Canada to have a better education and a more organized life, but not because of political issues or war. At first, it was extremely hard to overcome all of these new changes that have happened suddenly, such as studying in English, having to be more independent, and being in a diverse community. I was so afraid of too many things when I came here, like accepting me the way I am, being able to succeed in my new life, and getting accustomed to my new life quickly. One of them is the language. My study in Saudi Arabia was all in Arabic, uh, and of course we had an English class, but most of it was focusing on grammar and writing. So of course uh, I had knowledge in English, but that didn't help me to at all to be able to communicate. I got over all of these new changes and difficulties by myself. My parents helped and my supportive friends. Also Open Door has a huge impact on my confidence in speaking English. It was hard for me, but not as hard as it was for Mina, because my study in Egypt was all in English. The challenge which I faced when I came here was the culture, because there is a big difference between the Egyptian and the Canadian culture and traditions. I can hardly adapt to new changes, and the difference between cultures here made it harder for me to adapt. I suffered from culture shock, but after a while I got used to living here and got used to almost everything. Living in Egypt is way different than living in Canada because of the weather, education-wise, and system-wise. The education system is really difficult and different from here. We had at least us speaking three languages. That's why most Egyptians know English and French beside Arabic. I can speak in four languages, Arabic, English, French, and Turkish. ناس كتير عندها معلومات غلط عن المصريين ناس كتير بيعتقدوا ان احنا فرعنا او بنعيش في الاهرامات او اننا بنروح المدرسة بالجمل ارين سان لال دي بي سردان بي الحياة ميز اولوندا هزا مان قريب سوردار سوردوز الكتريك بي تومياني تشيكان تكنولوجير صحيب افلرة دي يشيروز سوكي نسافون بادا الاجيبت سوكي نسافون لابلوس انتيون استوار دي موند et que nous avons été les premiers à inviter beaucoup de choses qui sont maintenant utilisées partout. Nous avons aussi un des plus grands livres de la vie, qui est le livre de la vie. Et il y a un des plus grands livres de la vie qui peut être dans la vie. Nous avons aussi un livre de la vie qui est un livre de la vie. Nous avons aussi un livre de la vie qui est un livre de la vie, un livre de la vie, un livre de la vie. We have one of the most delicious dishes like makrona bechamel, koshari and basbusa. We also have the best taste in music and the best singers like Omi Kalthoum. Egyptians are obsessed with soccer and you all of course know Mohamed Salah who is one of the soccer legends. Egypt is considered a Muslim country. As more more than 90% of Egyptians are Muslim, but all other religions are really respected there, and there is no difference between religions of people. We also have so many great scientists who help the world in so many things, like Ahmed Zouel and Mustafa Said. I was afraid of not getting accepted in society because of the hijab and that they might force me to take it off. I also thought 
that they would judge me and treat me differently from others I was afraid of racism and stereotyping because I'm going to a known place and not knowing what to expect for me I wore hijab here in Canada not like Minna who already came wearing it the first semester in high school I was not wearing a hijab yet but I started wearing it in the second semester many people were confused because I wasn't wearing it before one day without it and the next day with it they kept asking a lot of questions because they didn't understand my religion in the correct way. I honestly did not suffer from any racism situation with or without the hijab because in the community here they are really respectful but they're only missing the correct information about our culture and religion. Living in Canada for Egyptians might be hard for many reasons, weather wise, language wise and culture wise. But after all, we all adapt to the new situation we are in. I have been living here for almost 10 months, I haven't completed a year yet and I know that I'm gonna experience too many different things. At first it was, uh, I was extremely overwhelmed and felt like a fish out of water. I was unaware and confused of what's going on in my life because everything has suddenly changed in the most important time in my life in my high school years the language was a constraint on my ability to communicate with people now i have improved a lot in a lot of aspects i became more comfortable i gained confidence i'm content with my life and the progress that i have made until now uh, with the help of my loved ones, I'm so proud of who I am now and I'm looking forward to learning and experiencing new things. I've been living in Canada now for more than two years and I really enjoy living here. These two years, I think that I've grown up with my thoughts and my way of thinking. I also became more conscious about many things that I've never known they existed before, like other countries' issues and what's going on in the world around me. I've also met a lot of people from different cultures which helped me be more open to the world and got me out of the bubble I was living in. Of course I miss going back to my country and seeing my family and friends but for now I think I'll have a better future here in Canada. And, and this, this is, is our story! story.